beautiful Upper Credit Conservation Area. I'm here with my Conservation Youth Corp crew of high school volunteers, and we're installing some sediment traps to try and create some habitat space for brook trout and also to help combat climate change. The brook trout in the Upper Credit River, they're the only native trout. Uh, all the other trout and, and salmon that uh, you hear about are not native to the Credit River. But brook trout were here uh, forever. Brook trout are really sensitive to temperature changes. So if you start getting above 20 degrees, uh, it starts impacting their life cycle. So that's the one of the fish species that we really focus on to try and preserve them and their habitat. This used to be a farm property here and where the stream was once about 12 to 14 feet wide due to cattle trampling it actually widened out to almost 22 feet. So when the stream is very very wide what happens is the water gets very shallow and that allows a lot of surface area for the sun to heat up the water. So we're narrowing down the stream, getting the stream to be a little bit deeper, a little bit colder, all in an effort to help with climate change. Climate change is affecting the river by raising water temperatures. Uh, climate change has been increasing air temperature in the watershed since the 1970s. It's gone up at least 1.5 degrees and that's reflected in the water temperature as well. It's increasing the amount of drought that can happen during the summer, which means low water, which impacts fish and all the animals that live there. It's also causing extreme flood events and extreme storms. So now you're getting a lot more flow suddenly pulsing into the river and uh, that can cause more erosion and change the shape of the streams. So what we're doing is we're installing some Christmas trees to the side of the bank um, to try and narrow down the bank which is really going to help with climate change in the sense that it's going to help make the stream go a little deeper so the water is going to be colder and it's also going to create some awesome fish habitat especially for brook trout up here in the upper credit. So one of the things in doing some of these habitat projects is we're building resiliency into the Credit River. So some of the resiliency was removed uh, because of the cattle access here, but by installing these different structures to help narrow the river, we're fast forwarding. This stuff is happening naturally, but by installing the Christmas trees to help narrow the river, we're fast forwarding things by making the river narrow quicker. one thing to do all the things for climate change, recycle, uh, you know, drive a, a Prius, but actually to go out day to day and try and affect climate change locally. You know, we have a lot of local climate change effects and uh, to work in my own backyard to help build resiliency into the Credit River to, to help combat some of these impacts of climate change is very gratifying. 